Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a great day today and welcome to the New Sage channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Rocket Raccoon. Now, Rocket Raccoon made his first appearance in comics in Marvel Preview, issue number seven, in June of 1976. His height comes in at a towering four feet tall and his weight is a hulking 25 pounds. He has brown eyes and his hair is brown, black and white. Rocket Raccoon possesses all the normal attributes of an Earth Raccoon, including speed, which has been additionally amplified by his training, and a cute sense of smell, sight, hearing, and touch. He has sharp claws that allows him to scale walls, buildings, and trees with ease. He's an accomplished sharpshooter as well. He also possesses a genius level intellect and is an accomplished starship pilot, an expert marksman with two laser pistols that he carries all the time, as well as having an affinity for heavy weapons for whatever reason. He's a master military tactician and leader, which are attributes that help him take charge of the Guardians of the Galaxy whenever Star-Lord is unavailable. Initially, Rocket Raccoon was the guardian of the Keystone Quadrant, an area of outer space sealed off from the rest of the cosmos by the so-called Galatian Wall. Rocket was the captain of the starship Rackin' Ruin, and he and his first mate Walrus, which was a talking walrus, come from the planet Half-World in the Keystone Quadrant, an abandoned colony for the mentally ill where the animal companions were genetically manipulated to grant them human-level intelligence and bipedal construction for many of them to become the caretakers of the inmates that were there. Now, Rocket was Half-World's chief law officer who protected the colony against various threats. At one point, Judson Jakes tried to steal the Half-World Bible, but was thwarted by Rocket and various animal associates. Later, Lord Divine abducted Rocket's friend Lila and Jakes began the toy war. As the toy war continued, Blackjack O'Hare teamed up with Rocket and Rocket was reunited with Lila. The Rack and Ruin starship was soon destroyed as Judson Jakes and Lord Divine teamed up to try to kill Rocket. Rocket and his friends cured the loonies of their mental illnesses as Judson Jakes and Lord Divine were apparently killed. Rocket and the animals, as well as the robots, left Half-World and took off into space for their own adventures. Sometime later, Rocket was revealed to have been a laboratory subject on the Stranger's Planet and escaped his captivity there. Rocket Raccoon resurfaced as a member of the team chosen to accompany Star-Lord on his mission to stop a phalanx infiltration of the Kree homeworld. Rocket is depicted as a gifted military tactician who's fearless, loyal, and insightful. It's heavily implied that he has a case of obsessive compulsive disorder also, which gives him an interesting little twist. After being convinced by his friend Star-Lord, Rocket is actually the one who suggests the team adopt the name Guardians of the Galaxy after he heard it mentioned by Major Victory. Later on, when the team almost disbands and Peter Quill, who is Star-Lord, disappears, Rocket keeps the team alive and brings in Groot as a member, as the two had become firm friends. Rocket then takes over as leader until they rescue Peter and save the Earth from an alien invasion. When the team tries to halt the growing War of Kings, Rocket is the one who leads the portion of the team assigned to make contact with the Shi'ar. They're unable to teleport into the Emperor Vulcan's flagship and have to be rescued by the Starjammers and Rocket's old friend, Shode. However, they are able to bring back the rightful queen of the Shi'ar, but she's killed after Rocket departs, much to his horror. Now, after the Guardians disband, Rocket Raccoon does take up a normal job with Timely Inc. He and Groot were reunited and tricked into returning to Half-World. Here, he found out that his memories of the place were mostly half-truths and deliberately crafted fake memories. In reality, Jakes and Blackjack O'Hare had worked with Rocket in providing security at Half-World Asylum for the criminally insane. Dr. Divine had been head of psychology there. And both the anthropomorphic animals and the automaton clowns were deliberately created to work at the asylum as their appearance would calm the inmates. The crisis that Rocket half remembered had been caused by the psychic supervillain, the Star Thief, who had been admitted as an inmate and used his psychic powers to turn the inhabitants against each other. Rocket had turned the wardens into biological key to keep Star Thief locked up and deliberately altered his mind and left half world so it could never be opened but he was tricked into returning by the thief, whose mind had escaped into the asylum after his host body died. 
Now, these were some of Rocket's solo adventures, but when the Guardians of the Galaxy title was relaunched in 2013, Rocket was once again a member of the team. Now, due to Rocket's influence on the Marvel Universe and his abilities and popularity, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give him a rating of 5, which is a rating of enigmatic. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.